Now to West Brookfield, where a residential neighborhood has turned into a crime scene after multiple dead bodies are found on a home on Old Warren Road. Tonight, we're learning new details about the investigation. Our Roslyn Flaherty joins us live now with the details. Roslyn. Brittany, there are still so many questions more than 24 hours after the bodies were found. And now the DA asks if anyone saw anything suspicious to come forward. Investigators are seen going in and out of the home on Old Warren Road in West Brookfield, where four bodies were found inside Thursday. The Worcester District Attorney is calling the death suspicious and is now asking for the public's help. No matter how small or insignificant you think your information may be, if you saw someone, if you saw a vehicle on that road, we'd like to talk to you. DA Joe Early Jr. says police responded to the home Thursday afternoon to conduct a well-being check. It's when they found a mother, a seven-year-old girl, and two boys, ages two and five, in an upstairs bedroom. The news shaking the small community. Heartbreaking. I just, I have small kids too, and I just, I just can't imagine that happening to anybody. The Quaybog Regional School Superintendent says two of the children attended West Brookfield Elementary School. Extra grief counselors were on hand Friday. It's been a very difficult day for our entire school community, but it's all about the kids. Today, our staff is doing an amazing job. I can't say enough about the outpouring of support from neighboring communities, from our staff. Um, people are coming together, and uh, we're going to get through this together. As a state police mobile command unit and a fire services special operations truck remain on scene, investigators and neighbors are trying to come to grips with what happened. How do you? Could you pinch? Now the DA says a distraught family member tried to run into the home earlier today. He was taken into protective custody and later released. Again, if you have any information, you were asked to call state police. Brittany. Roslyn, thank you.